What's going on everybody? Today's video will show how to import Zabbix appliance in your local VirtualVox uh, virtualization platform. At first, the rule number one, you have to have the VirtualVox already installed on your station. This application can be installed on Linux, Mac, Windows, name it, you can have it. And then the next step, go to uh, on the zabbix.com forward slash download appliance. And here are some options. I personally prefer open virtualization format because it provides a nice wizard how to import the, the system uh, in the application. Okay, and here is the download button, but we will not wait for the download complete. I already prepared the files. Here it is. And when you extract the files, we have then uh, one file, which is a disk, the compressed disk of the appliance and also the profile file, open virtualization format. And right now I will open this file. The first wizard screen looks like this. Uh, we can see that the appliance is based on Ubuntu 64 bit bit and this as an option you can uh, decrease the core count I will set one and memory also can be decreased like this and finally import all right everything cool another my personal flavor is that we can go to uh, the settings page and there is various network uh, options what we can use uh, what type of network uh, and I prefer bridge adapter which practically allows you to have the IP address from the same DH DHCP server when you uh, receive the address uh, from your local uh, machine are you if you are using laptop uh, you are receiving address from the wireless uh, adapt uh, wireless network uh, if you are using wired connection uh, it's a different range maybe or maybe the same and this is uh, a nice way how we can later directly uh, communicate with this machine and execute some tasks so let's pick this one and now we can start the appliance by pressing start and while appliance is starting Let's go back to the download appliance page. Here is a nice reference link to the appliance manual and it contains the information what has been modified inside the Ubuntu operating system, what additional software has been installed, uh, which ports the Zabbix uh, are you, uh, is required uh, for the, uh, which ports are needed inside the firewall either on the server side or in the client side uh, in order to to go with all the functionality uh, more importantly here is a thing called credentials and it's the way it's the way how we can sign in inside the virtual box username appliance with the password zarex let's go to the virtual machine appliance and password Zabbix and now we can see what is the IP address of this machine uh, it comes from the same network and I can now type this uh, address in the browser here 192 164 1 and 21 forward slash Zabbix and enter and it this will bring us to the landing screen when we where we can write admin with a capital a and password zavix and sign in yes now we are in and that's it for this video 